Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna talk about why having patience in the Philippines is extremely important. Stick around. All right guys, so some of you are probably saying having patience in the Philippines is extremely important. Well, it's probably important everywhere. And yes, of course, having patience anywhere in the world is extremely important, but here, in Southeast Asia, in particular the Philippines, it is extremely important. And uh, we are going to discuss that a little bit further, but having patience out here is extremely important for a variety of different reasons. I'm gonna kind of go through the checklist here, but one, Filipinos do not respond well to impatient people here. It does you absolutely no good getting upset raising your voice is just going to have the opposite effect here now sometimes you know if you're in the west and you raise your voice um, you get upset you get angry then management you know at a restaurant or a store or whatever they quickly move in to calm the situation and do usually what they have to to go ahead and, and rectify the problem in the philippines it doesn't always uh, turn out that way. It will actually have the opposite effect. In fact, saving face, and this is in Southeast Asia in general, and also the Philippines, is huge. And if you cause a Filipino to have embarrassment in public, raising your voice, getting upset in public, these things are not good. Um, you have got to change the attitude before you get out here, you really do. It, it just does no good. And uh, I've seen, a lot of you have probably seen videos of foreigners getting upset, raising their voice with police officers or what have you. It just does no good. You, if you are not a patient person, the Philippines is probably not gonna be a good fit for you. You know, if you are used to the West where you get instant gratification, you know, you get upset and you get, a, you get upset at a restaurant because the meal was bad. You talk to the management and you get upset and angry. Management comps the meal and says you're 50% off the next visit. Here it doesn't work that way. Uh, you'll be lucky to even get an apology. You'll probably get an apology. But other than that, don't look to get a free meal. Don't look to, uh, um, you know, they don't worry about word of mouth or things like that. They don't worry about that like they do in the West. They just don't. And things are very slow here. And you have to get used to a slower pace of life. It's just the way things are. If you are somebody who is used to a very fast paced living, it's not gonna work out for you here. It just isn't, you know. Um, it. It's something you've got to work on. And even when I first got out here, I would sometimes get upset. I never voiced it, you know, it was in, I kept it inside pretty well, but I would get upset, you know, I would get upset over, oh, I'm sorry, uh, sir, we're out of stock of this. Uh, I'm sorry, your second choice is out of stock. Your third choice is out of stock. And it, uh, it can be frustrating, it really can, but, uh, this is something you got to deal with. You, you have to deal with it. And if you can't handle having patience, if you need instant gratification, again, the Philippines is probably not for you. Now, I run into guys all the time that just sit there and complain and complain and complain. Guess what? Us foreigners, we aren't going to change the way things are here. Um, getting together and griping with a bunch of other foreigners is not gonna change things. It's just not. I, I just don't know why people get so upset, spend so much effort into complaining and letting it ruin their day. In fact, I almost embrace the situation and say, you know what? I've become a much more patient person. I've slowed down my lifestyle so much. You know, everything was so fast paced before. And now my life is very, relaxed, I would say. I, I don't get upset about things. I don't let things bother me that I have no control over. Um, 
I don't know who said it, somebody famous, I'm sure, but you know, I, I've always heeded the advice, don't get upset, don't worry about things that you have no control over. And guess what? Uh, you don't have control of that here. <laughs> you really don't. It's, it's not gonna matter uh, you getting upset. It doesn't matter if you go talk to management. I'll give you an example. One time I was, in, uh, I was at uh, Camote's Island. I was with uh, my very first girlfriend that I met when I first got here. We were at a resort, uh, we were with friends and a waitress, I think she might have been like brand new. She, she seemed kind of like a nervous Nelly. Uh, we had all ordered like uh, coconut or mango shakes. She came over with them on her tray. And guess what? She took, went to take one off the tray. That whole tray went right over, all over me. On my head, all across my shirt, my shorts, everything. I was completely drenched. Now, luckily... I was staying at the resort, and this was the restaurant at the resort. I simply got up, went to my room, took all my clothes off, washed it off in the sink, put on new clothes, came right back out. By the, t by the time I came back out, there were new shakes. Um, the mess was cleaned up. Did anybody come out and even apologize? No. Did anybody offer to comp the shakes? No. <laughs> Now, I can tell you, if you were in the United States or, or England or wherever, guess what? Those shakes probably would have been free. My dry cleaning for my shirt and my shorts and my clothes, maybe even my hotel room, probably would have been comped because they would have been worried about word of mouth. And, um, but no, nothing. No, no apology. I think the waitress said sorry, so I don't want to say there's no apology, but... No management, no, no upper management, nobody coming out and saying, oh, I'm sorry, sir, you know, we've uh, comped the drinks. Uh, I, we really apologize for this. But no, not, none of that happened. And uh, you know what? That was my first reality check that when out here in the Philippines, it doesn't pay to get upset. You just have to roll with it and um, it is what it is, you know? I've also been to an iPhone store service center in the mall. This is a, a high-end mall in Ayala. It's a repair and it's a service center. So you would think there would always be somebody there to handle repairs or more than one person. So I went into the store and the person, uh, I had a problem with my uh, screen and I said, hey, I, I've got a problem with my screen. It's got a crack, I need a new screen. And they said, I'm sorry, sir, our technician is on vacation. He's over in Mindanao. And I said, okay, do you have a, another guy or do you have somebody coming in later? Do you have somebody coming in tomorrow? What's the deal? And they told me, no, he's the only person. I said, okay, well, <laughs> when does this guy come back from vacation? I'm sorry, sir, we don't know. I was like, how, how can you have a service center in the big Ayala Mall in Cebu and have no technician to repair? And they said, well, you can leave your phone here. And I said, but you don't even know when the guy's coming back. You don't know when it'll be repaired, nothing. So I, I didn't leave it there. I ended up finding another repair center and uh, I, I went there again only in the Philippines. It's more fun in the Philippines. Did I get upset? No. I have just learned that these are some of the things that happen here in the Philippines, and not only in the Philippines and Southeast Asia, but more so in the Philippines, I have noticed. I have noticed it. it's kind of more so here. So, if you are a guy who is high strung, you lose your patience, quick to anger, and you don't think that's gonna change, uh, I'm gonna tell you, you, you probably don't wanna be out here living in the Philippines uh, because things here are just gonna be very, very different. Uh, you're, you're either gonna have to adapt and change um, or you're gonna be one of those expats 
who hangs out with other expats and they complain all day. And that's going to be your life. You know, if, if, if that's what you want, then, you know, so be it. If that's not what you want, if you want a relaxed life, then you're going to have to learn some patience. <laughs> Tips and tricks that I've learned throughout the years is one, I never do more than one task per day. Like if I have errands to do, if I've got to go pay the cable bill, if I got to go pay the internet, if I have to go buy groceries, I do one thing per day. That's it. I don't line up my day with a bunch of errands to do. I try to streamline as much as possible. Uh, for example, the condo that I live in here. My rent, the electric, the internet, all I do is I've arranged where I pay it to my leasing agent and she takes the money on the first and she goes and she pays the rent, she pays the electric, she pays the internet. The only thing I pay is just down in the condo office, they accept the water payment. And I can do that myself, it's just in the lobby of the uh, condo. So. That's basically it. I just wanted to share with you about having patience in the Philippines and in Southeast Asia. Again, more in, more in particular for the Philippines, because I have found it's even more trying here in the Philippines. But when you kind of let this stuff go and you learn to be more patient, you learn to have a slower pace of life, you're going to probably appreciate the Philippines more. If you don't, you're going to be somebody who complains all day and you're probably going to be a guy who says the Philippines is not for me. And that's fine. There's a lot of people out there who don't match up well with the lifestyle here in the Philippines or in Southeast Asia. But if you can change it or if you have patience, then the Philippines can be a great place to live. Really can. You're just going to have to get used to some craziness sometimes, you know? I like to call it chaotic, or excuse me, I like to call it organized chaos, is what I like to call it. So guys, uh, tell me about your experiences. What kind of, uh, you know, are you a patient person? Do you plan on learning some patience? What kind of tips and tricks have you learned along the years being out here in the Philippines or visiting? I appreciate you guys watching my video. If you found this content useful, uh, please consider sharing it. It's a, it's a way to help my channel grow. I appreciate that. And thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Take it.